Today's episode is brought to you by Freedom Project Academy. Looking for a K-12 classical online school built on Judeo-Christian values? FPA is enrolling now for the fall. Request your free information packet at freedomforschool.com. That's freedom, F-O-R, school.com. It's time to get educated on the craziness impacting K-12 classrooms and college campuses around the world. This is the Dr. Duke Show. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Dr. Duke Show. I'm David Fiorazzo, once again, filling in for Dr. Pesta. Before we get started, please hit that share button so we can educate more patriots around the country. All right, today, we start with the latest craze sweeping the nation. That's GSA clubs or Gay Straight Alliance. But we're not talking about high schools. Elementary teachers are now the top target for LGBT groomers to start their indoctrination on the youngest of children. Now, this is just another wake up call for parents. Sexual grooming teachers are now coming for elementary kids. Christina Buttons is a self-described reformed social justice warrior, recently posted a leaked Zoom call between teachers that was organized by an organization called GenderInClassrooms.com. And as you can see by the headline there over at PJ Media, the first rule of gay club is you do not talk about gay club. Groomer teachers plot on Zoom. One of the people we'll feature in one of the videos here is actually one of the founders, I guess, of this website. And you take a look at the website, right when you, you go to it, it says, this website is created by teachers for teachers. And it makes it seem like it's actually, you know, teachers pay teachers. And so this is where you're supposed to go, teachers, to, you know, get all the curriculum that you need in your classroom for gay straight alliance type things and rainbow clubs, as you see. But on the website, it says, we're dedicated to equipping educators with the tools they need to foster safe, welcoming, gender-inclusive classrooms. We're two U.S. public elementary school teachers. We have 16 years of teaching experience between us. We've hosted professional development for teachers, presented at the Gender Spectrum Conference, conference consulted, and have spent several years creating our own gender-inclusive content. Now... We used to teach kids to read and write and do math, but now these teachers, it's all about promoting that gender inclusive content. And these people are here for you. Kieran, who we're about to see in one of these videos, uh, teaches fifth grade and identifies as transgender and white. Um, and then the other co-founder of that website is Katie, who teaches second grade and is a white female and actually says she and her and such. So the people though, specifically on this Zoom call, as you just saw, um, one was Kieran, uh, and we're going to show Kieran's video first because it's just quite fascinating. But you gotta, <laughs> you gotta listen closely. We did not speed up the video. This is how Kieran sounds, and he's so proud of all the work that his group is doing and teaching these other teachers about how it is in the classroom, in the schools, to get the gay straight alliance clubs or the rainbow clubs in the elementary without, you know letting parents know or, or what's really happening. Something I do say to students and to caregivers, but I mostly say it to students um, like in my class. And then I just like quickly go into the other fifth grade classes and say, um, just so you know, it's completely your op your option if you want to come or not. Um, but I tell them that I don't ever tell anyone else who came except for the other two fifth grade teachers. Um, so I would never tell their adults or like other students in the school or even other teachers I don't tell um, just to make sure that any of them who are potentially nervous um, um, would at least feel assuaged um, in that in that way. Well, isn't that just delightful? So we talked about how the Gay Straight <laughs> Alliance is at the high school, but these rainbow clubs, which Kieran's pushing here, are what's happening at the elementary school level and they're they claim that these clubs can address topics of family identity and respect they can be a safe uh, be a space for LGBTQ plus families students and allies to connect and hold space for each other rainbow clubs promote a safe healthy school climate and an anti-bullying message there it is but why is it that they need to hide it so much because that's what they're talking about, what Kieran talks about, but also uh, what the other participants talk about in the video. 
the only formal um like communication that we've sent home was to fourth and fifth grade students um we told them they didn't have to it wasn't a permission slip it was just something that was like one uh one way uh communication to home about our club uh, and we've I didn't hear any pushback from anybody regarding that. Um, but also we intentionally left it um, broad in that it was a club about acceptance, tolerance, diversity, and identity. So listen closely to what he's saying. Yes. Um, this is not a permission slip. Uh, so they don't send a permission slip home so your parents are alerted. Um, and we purposely leave it vague. You know, it's just, oh, we have this club and it's uh, about diversity and inclusivity and, you know, anti-bullying. And yeah. hey, again, parents are going to be like, sure. Who would be against that? Who would be against that? Right? We're all on board. That's right. Um, but then when we're at school in the announcements then, <laughs> that's when we talk about, really, that we got this meeting going on and you all need to come to it. And again, <laughs> don't tell your parents just come to the meeting and we're not going to tell anyone else about it except we're going to keep pushing you into all the indoctrination because that's what we do well like it was said in the video everything must stay super hush hush super hush hush oh, it has to be hush hush if, if it was any louder than a hush hush then oh i don't know sanity may kick in but if you take a look i mean all you have to do is take a look at kieran's website here and then you would know all the crazy that they put out there, like the child-friendly <laughs> definitions, because they're putting, again, this website is teachers, by teachers, for teachers, to indoctrinate your kids. And so they put out this curriculum that includes, you know, the child-friendly definitions. So you got cisgender and non-binary and pronouns and sex and all the buzzwords. We got all the buzzwords. Yep. Who wouldn't want inclusive curriculum? I mean, year-long curriculum guide, lesson plans, uh, reading guides, um, and these reading guides are from kindergarten first through all the way through the fifth grades. A lot of good reading guides. I'm, I'm sure there's a, a lot of very inclusive, safe, yes. diverse, safe. welcoming, and, and very appropriate reading materials on these reading guides up to fifth grade, K through five. There you go. With all the censorship taking place on social media platforms, we've made it easy to keep up with your favorite content. Simply download the Freedom Project media app in your app store. Get access to 18 new videos a week, plus thousands of archived shows, lecture series, and educational animations. Download the Freedom Project media app on your Apple TV, Roku, tablet, or phone, and make sure you allow for notifications to keep you informed. Right. Well, before we move on, I just want to take a moment of your time to say that this show and all of our programming here at Freedom Project is made possible because of you. Well, hopefully you. I mean, if you're a Patriot Club donor, then you, Patriot Club donor, if you enjoy our content, please do consider a donation to financially support all that we are doing right here at Freedom Project. We do produce 18 videos a week to keep you informed, and it does cost us a little bit of money to produce. So please consider supporting us with a tax-deductible gift. And, of course, as just a token of our appreciation, we will send you our trademark, beautiful, lovely American Patriot Tumblr. Simply visit PatriotClub.us to get signed up. That's PatriotClub.us. Well, I just want to show you guys yet another example of the pride, pride that these activists have in indoctrinating the youngest of the students. The youngest, because when you get those older kids, I mean, really, psh, psh, we want the youngest of the young because that's what they do. Now, a teacher from Balerica, Massachusetts, uh, who teaches first grade. Now, last year she taught kindergarten, but now she's going up to first grade. Great. Now she's just going to follow those kids right around. Um, she was just openly bragging about teaching critical race theory to the five-year-olds last year in kindergarten and about, you know, just about how all her students have this white privilege. Um, her name is Brenna Woods. And Brenna Woods is clearly an activist who is listed as a teacher <laughs> at Ditson Elementary School. Now, during a recent Zoom meeting with other elementary school teachers, Brenna, she's had to brag about how she brainwashed all those five-year-olds last year uh, with the critical race theory. And the video we're about to show is nauseating in a multitude of ways. So we're just going to show a little bit of it. 
and then hit, hit pause on the video itself, but you'll still hear her talking. Um, last year I taught entirely remotely, which means all of the parents got to hear all of my teaching, um, which um, is very exciting. The other part is that I was teaching remote kindergarten, which is hilarious, by the way. Everyone should try it. Um, and so I did a lesson on um, white privilege, essentially. I talked about how some people are treated differently based on what they look like, and all the parents heard it. And I received some emails that were like, wow, that was a really powerful lesson. Um, thank you for, for starting that conversation. And then I received some emails that were like, how dare you treat my white child differently? I'm like, mm, was that hard for you? Like, um, so I think some of the things we need are we need either talking points for families, because if we're going to talk to kids about this, this is really hard for parents to hear, um, especially parents who they unknowingly lead very privileged lives. But the simple fact that she is supposed to be teaching the youngest of students right. uh, to read and write, do some math, maybe still in kindergarten, tie their shoes, uh, maybe make sure they got all their colors down. No, no. You must know only one color, white, and it is a bad color. That is what she's saying. So um, this, is, this is just confusing to me because it's, uh, does this say that she's supporting BLM talks about critical race theory yep, yep, yep. to these young children yep. that have no idea yep. what that is and she shares lots of memes oh yeah from Occupy Democrats oh yeah absolutely because if nothing else the five-year-olds need to see memes and gifts and all this from Black Lives Matter and Occupy Democrats I mean simply playing with the the construction board type bricks and building things is, is no longer necessary. You must knock those bricks down. So I'm guessing that's what, what is happening in her classroom. She's so proud of it. Um, of course, she's probably going to get away with all of this because her principal, yeah. so her boss, her immediate boss, her immediate supervisor is Victoria Hatem, who just, you know, back in, in 2020, June 6th to be precise, posted a video explaining systemic racism and a boy named Jamal, which we've talked about this video on the show once before. Um, in Victoria, again, the principal is fully supports Black Lives Matter and also talks about, you know, critical lives. Like, they, it's a whole system of them. Their superintendent even supports what they're doing and all you have to do is take a look at these people's Twitter pages or Instagrams or yeah. whatever because they're proud of what they're doing because for far too long in this country, parents have not paid attention. Now, as we see, and hopefully it continues, parents are opening their eyes and listening. Oh, it's like those skills you used to learn in kindergarten. You know, open your eyes, listen, mouth shut, pay attention to what's going on. You learn something then. And so now the parents are starting to learn and speak up about it. Today's show is sponsored by our friends at MyPillow. Save up to 66% on all items at MyPillow.com when you use the code Dr. Duke. That's D-R-D-U-K-E. Support this show by supporting a great American company. We've known for far too long how crazy the West Coast and the East Coast of this United, United States is uh, pretty crazy. But now here in the Midwest... No! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> here in the Midwest, buckle up, because in the middle of the country here in Lake County, Illinois, uh, they're going to have Pride Fest. It's coming up here quick on June 4th, and they're going to feature arts and crafts. Awesome! And also affirming books. Oh. Affirming. So it used to be like, oh, well, hey, let's have a, a little festival with Arts and crafts, but no, no, this is Pride. Pride Fest. So they have uh, arts and crafts and affirming books. And, of course, you have to have, you have to have the Drag Queen Storytime and Drag Kids Dress Up. Duh, David, if you don't have all these at the kitty corner, at the kitty corner. I mean, wow. Their advertising is uh, the marketing campaign. They really outdid themselves, I think, based on what those poor children 
are looking out at right now. Am I reading this correctly that the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is sponsoring this Pride Fest Kitty Corner featuring drag queen story time, drag kids dressing up, and a drag show for children? I'm sure it's PG rated, right? In oh, fact, yeah. it says that in there, doesn't it? It does, uh, you know, because everything they do is just P. PG. Yeah. 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 So uh, Christopher Rufo, who has been doing, you know, all the work that pretty much all parents used to do by monitoring what's going on, <laughs> he's personally taking it upon himself to p blast all this type of stuff on Twitter for all the various activities. And this is just the newest one. And so it's his Pride Fest Kitty Corner. And um, of course, some of the other uh, attractions, other than the ones we mentioned, uh, are going to include face painting. And I can only imagine what will be painted on the faces of these children. Uh, they will have an inflatable soccer field. It better not be an inflatable anything else, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, the drag kids dress up, though, you know, is going to be there. So <laughs> are they going to put on prom dresses? Like, what, what's going to happen here? I don't even want to know. But like you said, it's going to be PG for that Drake show. So parents apparently get get on down there June 4th in Illinois. And the fact that it's being sponsored by your taxpayer dollars, it says it all. Now, of course, there are critics. Not that David or I are said critics, except we are. Yeah. Some of these critics accuse the event organizers of indoctrination and of grooming children. Because now, when we bring out the term grooming, they're trying to make it you know, a negative connotation, like, put back on itself, which grooming is bad, yeah. but now they're trying to say, well, you're, you're just being, you're just, it's a conspiracy theory, this grooming, that's not happening. Except yeah, it not is. happening. Yeah, it's, in fact, the d executive director of this uh, Center Lake County said, we are thrilled to once again bring this important community event to downtown Waukegan. So they're doing this, and they're open about it and it's just, you know i'm just wondering um if parents have any say because apparently all tax dollars are going to this not just the liberal lefties and those who would support drag queens and the lgbtq but if you're a christian if you're if you're conservative if you're an independent or just a decent human being that doesn't want this stuff jammed down the throats of your children your tax dollars are going to this too that's i mean wow that just <laughs> gave me the warm fuzzies right there knowing this Except I don't live in Illinois, so I don't have to worry about it. But if you do, uh, just know from Nikki Michelle, who you said is the Lake County Executive Director, um, you know, she's saying in a time when we're watching our human rights get rolled back at an unprecedented rate, it is vitally important that we counteract hatred with love. All right, well, education content is always the primary focus of the Dr. Duke Show. Before we go, let's leave you with some other stories worthy of a comment or two from Katie. We start at University of Central Florida, where $32,000 is being used to fund the Sex Cafe podcast. I'm not making this up. Apparently, there's nothing better to do with the money gifted to university than to start a sex podcast. The university says the podcast includes guests from different backgrounds and various fields of study, I bet, to talk about sex and reproductive health, and that means uh, sexual experimentation and abortion and anything else. But the money to support the podcast is part of a, ready, $300,000 grant provided to the university by the Elizabeth Morse Genius <laughs> Foundation. Oh, mo Lord. Uh, speaking of things nobody asked for, a Pennsylvania Catholic school is feeling quite embarrassed after an unfortunate mix-up with their Mother's Day roses. Are you ready? As part of a fundraiser, St. Anselm's in Parkwood sold fake red roses to celebrate Mother's Day. Only it turns out the order was wrong and moms were a little surprised by a much different gift. Check this out. Open up the froze. <laughs> Open it. Oh my God, I see it already. <laughs> Who bought them, the school? Yeah. Yo. They just sent out an email saying. Yikes. <laughs> 
Yep, instead of a fake rose, all mom. Well, I wonder what the guy was doing open that. Anyway, all moms received red lace thong underwear. As you can imagine, the Catholic school was embarrassed, saying, "Quote: The roses sold at our Mother's Day plant sale were not the single fake flowers originally intended. Instead, the item was a Valentine's Day gift intended for adults." The administration will determine how the error occurred and take steps to prevent a further recurrence. <laughs> Katie, <laughs> as a mom, mm -hmm. what would Catholic your mom. reaction yes. have been <laughs> if you received a gift like this from your child's school? Well, two kids, does that mean I get two of the roses? I mean, it's a good financial investment, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Are they all red? Are everyone got the Are same red ones? I no. Yeah, no. Mm, yeah. All right. Finally, speaking of Mother's Day gone wrong, famed clothing designer Calvin Klein ignited a little controversy of their own by showcasing a pregnant, quote, transgender man, end quote, on the day everyone else celebrates women. In an Inst Instagram post, the company said, Today, in support of women and mothers around the world, we highlight the reality of new families. It featured several images including Roberto from Brazil, a pregnant transgender man. In the end, Calvin Klein can do whatever they want, but I'm sure um, how showcasing pregnant women who want to look like men sells clothes. Um, Katie, remember the uh, Oprah rolled out the first pregnant man oh, in like yes. 1992 mm -hmm. or three. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about this? When I was pregnant, because I'm a woman. <laughs> I know what a woman is. I know you don't know. You're not a biologist. No. I'm a biologist. <laughs> no. Uh, the Calvin Klein underwear, though, would be way more comfortable than that red thong from the previous story. So True. as a pregnant woman, uh, I would have very much appreciated the Calvin Klein underwear. Now, Roberto, um, not too sure how all that's going to work. That wraps up this segment. More to come next time. All right, that is going to do it for today's show. Now, for all of us here at Freedom Project, please make sure you are staying educated, my friends. <laughs>